Hey everyone, this is Bryce with Jax47. I'm here at Archetype Brewing in Asheville, North Carolina, and we're here to help you choose better beers for your wedding. So let's start out with Cowboy Poet. Now this is an American light lager, and it comes in at 4.6 ABV and 20 IBUs. It's well-balanced, light-bodied, refreshingly crisp corn lager, light floral and noble hop presence with secondary notes of lemon. Drinks easy and finishes clean. So that's our description of this beer. Let's try it out. Cowboy Poet. Hmm. So this is really easy drinking, really tasty. Something that's gonna go down easy. This is a mass appeal beer at your wedding. So if you're thinking about getting a Coors Light, Bud Light, forget about that. Go with the Cowboy Poet. Mm, but it does have that craft beer flavor. So it's not, it's not a basic beer, but it is light and it is tasty and refreshing. Next we're gonna go to the Wit Beer. This is their, this is called Talking to Plants. 5.6% ABV, 12 IBUs, and they describe it as using the traditional bitter orange peel and coriander and pair it with an additional spice blend. Notes of bread crust, ginger, and citrus make for a bright and refreshing beer. So you see this has a little haze to it, and that's traditional for this style. Yeah, this is really tasty. It has that little um, refreshing notes of, of citrus and orange, but it's not going to blow you away with that flavor. It's not going to be too much. So if you're thinking of doing Blue Moon for your wedding, this is a great replacement. If you want to do something local, you're coming to Asheville for a wedding or you live here and you want to stick with the local beers, um, this would be a great replacement for um, a mass market wit beer. Now our third beer is Commitment Phobia. Commitment Phobia is a session IPA. So IPA you might know of as the higher gravity pale ale, stands for India pale ale. And normally those are about six to seven percent. The session IPAs come in anywhere from I would say four and a quarter, four and a half to five and a half or so. And they usually have a lot of citrusy, hoppy flavors, depending on the hops used. <laughs> but they're a lot lighter than your traditional IPA. And so at a wedding where you're going to want to drink two, three, four beers, you're not going to feel them as much as you would if you were drinking um, traditional IPA. So they describe this flavors of citrus and melon, complement a clean, bready finish, crisp and refreshing. And what I like about this one is it has a little bit of a um, has a little bready malt undertone, and so that helps balance the hops. So some session IPAs are a little too over the top with the hops, and it's just not as enjoyable um, of a beer. It's not as balanced. So I know the name Commitment Phobia it might throw you off for a wedding, but it's a really good beer uh, for your special day. And uh, this comes in at 5.0% ABV, 35 IBUs. Yeah, so if you have hop heads in your group, you have people that like IPAs, but you want to go with something that will appeal to a broader audience in your wedding, Session IPA is great. And Archetype's version of that is called Commitment Phobia. All right, last but not least, Blue Collar Wizard. This comes in at 4.4% ABV, 20 IBUs. They describe this as having some coffee, chocolate, tobacco, dark fruit flavors, roasted notes of earthy stone fruit and coffee, smooth malty backbone with a dry finish. Now because it's on nitro, it's gonna be smoother than a carbon dioxide beer, if that makes sense. So pretty much every beer that you, you drink that you see is carbon dioxide. Nitro is uh, pushes it out differently. It's not as carbonated. It's smoother, kind of silkier. And as I mentioned, you know, if you have beers that you're trying to replace, this would replace the Guinness on your lineup. But it has 
It's a little more complex than your average um, nitro stout. Again, craft beers always take it to the next level in regards to flavor. That's what I really like about craft beer. And the, the scene here in Asheville is, is amazing. We have so many breweries and Archetype is one of um, the leaders in making really drinkable, nice flavored beers. So out of these four, um, it really depends on what beers you're thinking about having for your wedding in the first place. Uh, we start out with that Cowboy Poet, you know, that's the American Light Lager, so it's it's a perfect replacement for for that Coors Light, that Bud Light, Mellow Light, whatever you're thinking of having. Um, but it has a little more flavor to it. It has that graininess, it has um, noble hop presence. It's, it's very tasty, so I would definitely recommend that. If you were thinking of adding a Blue Moon to the lineup, talking to plants would be great. And if you do have a lot of hop heads in your group, a lot of people who love IPAs, Going with the Session IP like Commitment Phobia would be a wise choice. And Blue Collared Wizard is that nitro dry style replacement. So if you have an Irish wedding or people just love the Guinness, that would be a perfect choice for you. Again, my name is Bryce, I'm with Jax47, and I'm here to help you choose better beers for your wedding. And we're at Archetype Brewing in West Asheville. If you wanna come down and do a free tasting, I'm offering them to my clients from, from here on out. And I hope you have a great day, cheers.